Hey, what's up everyone? Corny Phil here, back in the game Unturned, and I was I just wanted to make this video today to talk about uh, a technique I'm starting to use called grocery shopping. So, right now the way Unturned works is that every time you log out and log back in, all the item pools reset. So, in theory, you can force items you want, and as you can see, I've got this sick nasty gun. S several sick nasty guns, and lots of ammo. And the way I did it was actually kind of easy. So let's start by picking off some of the neighbors here. Don't bother me. Where is the other guy? Incidentally, while we're doing this, look at look at the scope in the left side of the screen there. This is a game that, you know, is not hugely graphically amazing, and yet the scope is a perfect mirror. Like or a perfect show of what's there. Like, holy crap. To the des my hat's off to the designers. Uh oh, out of ammo. That's okay. Pick that back up and clear this guy out. All right. So my hat's off to you. So already we've got a spawn of military bullets. That's nice. I've been collecting those. Don't need a tack laser. So we'll get down and we'll start grocery shopping. So I'm at O'Leary Military Base, which is in the northwest corner of the map, and is probably the best place to find military weapons. Who'd have thought? Along with vaccine. Uh, grenades, all sorts of wonderful stuff. So as you can see, I've already wiped out some of the zombies, and ooh, never had one of these spawn before. Um, let's see, what can I drop? Um, I want that. Oh, I. Grr. What do I? I don't want to drop anything for that. Oh well, that's a PEI map. That's a map of this whole area. You know what? I've got to. I got to at least make the effort. Hang on. Let's. Equip, show you guys. See, that's where we are right now. We're up uh, up in the left corner there where the red X is. All right, now we can drop this thing because I don't really care. And I'd rather have my dressings. All right, but anyway, so that's where we are. And what we're going to do is we're going to clear out this place. I'm going to show you guys where all the good loot spawns are. Get out of my way. Now, I'm going to be able to do this fairly easily because I have all this equipment. But if you're patient and kite properly, you can do this with... Nothing but your bare fists, though army zombies are the toughest zombies in the game, so far as I can tell. But anyway, we're going to go through each barracks, looking around, sandbags, uh, little fort fortifications, pickaxe, all useful stuff, but not stuff I'm interested in. Get out of my grill. Looking good. And then we need to go into each of the four guard towers, because each guard tower has at least one spawn in, often more. Let's see what's up in here. Nothing. Lame. Back down we go. Okay. So as you can see, I just call this technique grocery shopping because it makes me think of like going to the grocery store. Like you start in one corner, you work your way all around, you find what you're looking for, then you leave. Another, what can't lift? Oh, that makes sense. In a sec. So one of the things I figured out how to do is crafting. Uh, military bullets and an empty magazine will give me a full magazine. And this is a full drum mag, no less. Boom. And the drum mag, it makes this gun amazing with a hundred rounds in it. You know, it's basically like you just kill everything that moves. Let's see what's over there. Oi. You. I'm talking to you. Noob. Anyway, so... Ooh. That's a PD... That's a, the P90 in this game called the Pro 90. Because friggin' pro, man. I think that's a Counter-Strike counter joke. I don't know. I never played Counter-Strike, but I'm pretty sure it's a Counter-Strike joke. But anyway, there's so there's a P90 and a NATO mag. I already have plenty of those, so I'm not I'm not in the market for them. But there they are. Um, but as you can see, so we're forcing the spa we're forcing the spawns because what we can do, and I'm not finishing my grocery shopping this round. Normally, I would finish the whole place, but ooh, I'll take that. So now here's the cool part. After looting this place dry, we disconnect. Oh, whoa. Hey, sorry about that, everyone. Uh, my game crashed. But as you can see, we've spawned back in. And now there's trip mines and another clip of military bullets. Now, if you look down there, obviously the zombies have respawned, which makes this dangerous if you're not well-equipped like me. But a couple of rounds of grocery shopping, and um, yeah, you're essentially golden. This works in any place. I like doing the military base because you get sick, nasty weapons. I think that's the first deer I've ever killed. Go me. 
killed a poor defenseless deer with a six time zoom scope. Yeah, it was easy. But yeah, so now what we can do, the spawns have all reset. So, I mean, that means there's zombies out here, which can be a problem if you don't have weapons. But the whole point of this is to get the weapons. What's down here? Uh, it's just a beret. Um, yeah, so now as you can see, we've got all new spawns, all new zombies to kill, which is good for grinding experience so you can level up. But uh, also, so you can get all the gear you want. So if you have a particular gun you like, like I really dig the Swiss, the Swiss gear, and I have a six time zoom scope and a silencer on it, and I all, I got all of that just by camping out here and uh, basically forcing it to happen. And now back on my drum mag. I don't need those. Um, yeah. So thank you all for watching. Uh, this is grocery shopping, and I'd like to think it's uh, one of the better ways to get what you want in Unturned. Until next time, I'm Corny Phil. See ya.